page ECAD bus user reports that he cannot close the software down. Let's see if we can mimic what might have happened. I've started GCAD Plus and I'm about to run one of the templates. Let, let's run this Art Deco template. So here we are. There are two spaces that we work with, a model space and a layout space. And you see the two are here. Quite often people will run with a black background and that now shows the design. So this is the full size design that we're looking at here. And notice that the there's a crosshair cursor which I'm laying over the black background and down here where the actual house is. So that's referred to as a crosshair cursor. When we move off the edge of what's called the drawing editor, the crosshair changes from that shape to crosshairs with an intersecting bit to a mouse pointer. You'll notice here that I'm working in model space with that dark background. And when I click, notice that the crosshair cursors are white. One thing that might happen or might have happened to our new user if you go to drafting settings, no, that's not where I want to be. It is possible to go to tools and I'm trying to remember is it drawing parameters or global parameters? Let's try the drawing ones. Here we are. That's what I was after. Let's move that up a little. Notice that you can alter the cursor, the, the cursor color and the background color of the model and sh and colors in paper space. Let's just concentrate on the model. That's where we are at the moment. So the background is black. But if we make the cursor color 32, 32, 32, which is one of these custom here, red, green, and blue. Let's say I want 32, 32, and 32. What I'm trying to do is match the color of the cursor to the background. We say OK. Now when we come in here, can you see we haven't, haven't lost control of things totally. We've just got a, point, a, a pointer, and, but it's certainly difficult to work with. We have a, a quick way of changing those colors. So I can go from a black background. Actually, what we need is a little tick to indicate what you are on. Now, there we are with a white background and things are visible. So that may have happened inadvertently. I think if we go drawing parameters and if we change back to the model cursor color and we want white that's this one here and we go okay and okay and then have our background where we started which was view background color black now everything looks fine remember here that we're searching for a possible reason why you lose control of your drawing and we'll put it back to a background color that's black and if I concentrate my attention on the black area, remember this is model space and I zoom in, nothing appears to happen yet. But as I zoom in and if someone has clicked the grid button, can you see little dots, tiny little dots appear and there is a major grid and a minor grid. So if I use the measure tool and go from one to the other, that's about 9.8. So the major grid is at 10, 10 units. It could be 10 feet in the US or 10 millimeters. And uh, that's controlled by, if you happen to right click and go to drafting settings, the grid is now on. Snap's not on, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But um, we just, if we set this one now to Let's set it to a meter if I'm in the metric area now. X and Y. 
1,000 units or 1,000 feet. And we do that. And can that, now can we, we don't even see the grid until we get right out here. Now, if I make that even larger, go to drafting settings, we'll make it 10,000. One more zero in there and we'll okay that and again you're not going to see it until you know we get the appropriate zoom factor get right out here and there'll be a huge gap between individual things but if we now set snap on as well as grid on can you see that the cursors click clicking to the actual grid whereas and if we get in here and I move, snap and grid are on. There are times when it, yeah, if, can you see that if the grid is showing now, it's GK plus is just jumping all over the place. The read is finding that, that major grid point. So I'm not sure what this particular user has done, but can you see that the, drafting settings here snap is on grid is on the origin of the grid can change the bold steps now are 10 of these and you can alter the bold step that's the major grid and the minor grid with the settings up here and uh, that can certainly cause people grief when particularly if you had a black cursor on the black background and you're losing control of things our user who says I can't uh, can't get out of GK Plus has still got access to the close and quit options here. So I'm struggling a little to find how you might lose control. But I hope that some of this is at least useful. You may well lose control of a GK Plus drawing by taking a, an object like this. It might be a plant symbol and you copy it and you mark a base point on it and then move it way over here to the corner and even take it and right click and scale it by say point one and hit enter and to all intents and purposes as we look at the at the drawing that last copy entity to the right is not there if we then used the zoom extends command which pushes everything out to maximum we get and you might just be able to see it that circle or copy copy symbol is way over there and you have that problem even when we know it's there so we can hit our delete key and remove it if we now go to zoom extends again can you see nothing happens it's stuck on that side so the way to deal with that is to move down to this tab on the screen, regenerate the drawings view, and now zoom extension should work. So sometimes people are well away from that.